All right, everyone, here we go. It's getting toward the very, very end of the season here in Mississippi. And uh, this morning, I'm fixing to do some slip hunting. Got my tactic cam. I mean, I know this ain't gonna be the best footage, but I kind of feel like I've hunted all my good spots up this year. And uh, I just kind of want to move around. Cause this time of year, these bucks are, they're slowing down from the rut. They're not traveling as much. The easy places where the food sources are hunted hard. Um, and they don't never use them till night. So this morning I'm just gonna slip around. Just left the truck. Highway's right out here. But I got these blocks of woods. I'm just gonna ease through. We got a big rain night before last. Everything's wet. I mean, it's perfect stalking, slipping conditions here. But my plan is I gotta go down pretty good ways. And there's a slough I gotta cross, and I think there's a beaver dam on it. If all this rain didn't blow it out. Uh, but if it's there, I can go way up and go around, but be closer to cross right there at that beaver dam. And we got a west wind this morning, so I'm, I'm gonna have to cut. And I'm gonna kind of be walking my wind at, at my back for a while. And then I'm going to turn, and I'm going to start walking into the wind. And I'm going to make a big loop and go around. Um, but, like I say, I got GoPros, Tacticam, got my my big camera right there. If I happen to see a deer and it don't see me, I might can grab it and get it out and get it on it. But if it's just a quick thing, Tacticam and GoPros is all I'm going to get on. But... We'll see if I can scratch one more out here toward the end of the season. But maybe we can, maybe we can do it. If not, we might find some good sign in here for for uh, coming in and hunting out of a tree. Let's go. Let's go give it a try this morning. Well, here's where my old beaver dam used to be, but the water ain't really high. It's actually pretty low. And I'm pretty sure I can get across it, but. Over back in there is where I'm wanting to be. We'll cut straight down and then cut back to the west. Get to walking with that wind in the face. Maybe we can slip up on one. That's what right now. Move time is a little bit later this morning, like from 9 to 11. I mean, it's probably 7.30 right now. And I didn't get up and come down here super early. I let it get daylight so I could look out in some fields just to see if the deer were moving. And I didn't see but one deer all the way down here, so usually on a good morning when the move time's early, you see field full of deer everywhere, but I only seen one. So I feel like they're gonna move a little later. I'm hoping they're down in here right now, just bedded up. I get over here and just start slipping through and either spot them bedded up, or maybe in a little while catch them up, kind of browsing around a little bit when that move time hits. So. We'll see if I can get across this and get over there and just start easing through. I ain't crossing this. Way deeper than I thought. Looks like I might can go right down here and get across just like some old wash up brush and stuff. If I can ever get across this deep channel down here, I can I can wade that stuff, but not this right here. It's too deep. Alright, it took a little longer than I thought. I couldn't cross up here where I wanted to. It got too deep on me so I had to come down across right here. But I'm across them on this other side now. You see, we got this big timber. It's kind of open. But there's spots through here that's got really thick, brushy, brushy stuff in it. And the deer that we bedded up in that stuff. That's what we got right here. We got some deer tracks crossing. And there's mud in their tracks, like stirred up mud. So there's been some across here not long ago. Headed back this way. So, 
They're in here somewhere. We just gotta find them. That was a pretty nice little six point coming up through there. And I spotted him before he seen me. He come slipping up through there. Turned the cat tactic cam on and looked at him for a minute. I don't know if the tactic cam got him or not. And then I grabbed my big camera. I may grab my big camera first. He was gonna video it. And I have left my SD card from my big camera at home. I forgot about that. I opened the thing up, so I'm gonna start video, and it said no SD. Forgot that I was uh, moving some some footage around from the other day, and uh, I just left it at home. It's in the computer, so the big camera is now obsolete. But uh, I got this this mag view uh, deal from my phone to go on my binoculars, so I got a little bit of footage of him. Ain't the best, but you can see him, so he, uh, he finally ran off there, but I'm just going to, I sit here for a couple minutes, kind of, I put my big camera back in my backpack, so I can give it a few minutes, kind of let everything settle down, and I'm fixing to just keep on slipping on up through here, and maybe, maybe that's a good sign that we'll run into a big buck up in there somewhere. But that buck right there was just, he kind of act like he was just up cruising, you know, so that's a good sign. Nice deer, good young deer. Maybe he'll make it till next year. Hopefully he does. Got him. Baby. That's a good deer. Yes. Yes. There's another bug. Yes, sir, baby. Look at this sucker. I knew that was a good deer. I was off hand the first time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Look. Look at that, buddy. Yes, baby! Oh, that's a giant! Oh, yes! Yes, baby! Good gosh! What a, what a freaking deer, baby! Yes, man! Oh, man, I missed. I was offhand the first time I shot and missed. Man, slip hunting, y'all. Slip hunting. Just been easing up. Wind's been in my face all morning. And I seen a doe standing here. 
and I looked and he was looking at me. I could see his horns knew he was a good deer, didn't look nothing else. Shot, missed, reloaded real quick. <laughs> and he just he just jumped and stopped. Reloaded real quick. And he didn't he stopped. Just I mean I missed him like right there and he ran right here and stopped. And when he stopped, I just backed up to a tree and uh Got got a good rest and shot him, but man, that is a that is a stud of a buck. That's a really good buck. He's wide, man. Look how wide that sucker is. <laughs> That's a big deer. Man, slip hunting, y'all. I know it. I know slip hunting the way you know self film like this is not the best way to get good footage, but it's the way to kill deer down here in the south. It's the way to do it. Especially around home here this time of year and this buck he was with a doe and there was actually another buck I seen take off running. He wasn't near as big But man look at that sucker <laughs> Look at that deer. That's a big deer That's big for around here. Yes, baby. Yes <sighs> Man this weather hit yesterday and uh, Man it has turned off good and this is, like I say, this is the tail end. I forgot what the day is. Let me look right quick. Days of 26. We've got five days left of the season here in Mississippi. And uh, tail end of the rut. Uh, you know, deer feeding. You know, they're still with does somewhat. He was with a doe right here. And uh, I knew when I was walking up through here and I seen that doe, I was like, she's standing there. She wasn't about 80 yards. He's about 60 and I knew when I seen her standing there, I was like, there's a buck with her. And I got just got my binoculars and was looking, seen him, and got hitting cameras, getting them on. But man, look at that deer. Look at that sucker. Man, that's a good deer. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <clears throat> well, here he is, y'all, man. That right there is a stud of a buck. He's a 10 point, got split brows. Man, what a deer. Good mass. But, you know, in the south, y'all, just slipping around, I'm telling you. It's the best way to kill mature bucks, especially, because there's not, we don't have big densities of them, like the Midwest. You know, we don't have those mature four and a half, five and a half year old deer. We don't have an abundance of them. And uh, so you gotta, you gotta really you know, you got to find them. You got to look for them. And they're tough. I mean, this deer right here, he's probably four and a half year old deer. He's got good mass. Big old nose on him. Head. You know, his teeth are... His teeth are pretty wore down. He may be older than that. He may be five and a half, but... Man, good mature buck. And, uh... You know, you got to really... You got to work for him. And, uh... You know, down on this kind of ground... It's you you can hunt you can hunt out of a tree that's fine, but there's so much ground. You know, like in here it's a flat. I like I'm a I like hills. I like bigger hills. Uh, I can play the wind better, which you can really play the wind good in this flat stuff. But in the hills, you know, you can you can find terrain features and stuff that deer like to travel. Down here it's just kinda it's kinda broad, kinda wide open. You got these little small thickets. You kind of got some water that they'll travel around, but it's hard to narrow them down. And since there's not a big buck density down here, as far as a bunch of them, uh, you know, you can set in a spot. And yeah, there may be one come through there all year long in the daylight where you could kill it, but you know, it's just a, it's a slim chance of it. But you know, like this one right here, I'm telling you, just slipping through there. Like I say, it ain't the best of footage, but man. It's how you kill deer down here. And, uh, man, this is a big old pretty buck. Big old pretty buck. But I was gonna, I was actually thinking about going and getting a four-wheeler, but I can't get the four-wheeler in here. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pack him out of here. Cause I'm gonna, I ain't but a mile in here, so I ain't got that far to go. I ain't got but a mile out of here. Uh, but I'm gonna pack him up, get him packed out of here, and uh, head back to the house, but Man, it's been a good morning, y'all. Look at that sucker. It's definitely one of my better, better, uh, 
close to home bucks, put it that way. But man, look at that deer. He is so pretty. Dark horns. I love that man. Love it. Yes. All right, everybody. Got him packed on the back. Oh man. I'll tell y'all what though. It's been a good season for me. It's been a good season this year. Uh, killed some killed some really good deer, I ain't gonna lie. But uh, you know, I kinda look back at the footage that I got today and man, I know it ain't the best. It's pretty it sucks pretty good, I ain't gonna lie. But the point I'm trying to get across here is how to hunt in the south, you know, what you need to do, how you need to hunt. Because uh, like I say, this type of hunting is not self-filmed. Uh, it's not conducive to self-filming, no doubt about that. Um, but perfect conditions, man. Rain, everything's wet, all these leaves are wet. You can slip up through here quiet, working with the wind in my face. And, uh, you know, just easing up through here. Seen a doe, then I seen him, and uh, just made the most of what I could, as fast as I could. But, you know, I hope everybody, you know, might can take something away from this video, uh, and learn, and and just help 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 you out in a little 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 bit, some way or another. Um, because that's what we want to do with Do It Yourself Hunter. We want to help people. We want we want it to be a community of people that help each other out hunting wise. Because, you know, it's tough. Anybody that's hunting, you didn't learn it on your own. Somebody taught you something about it. So, you know, we just want to, we want to be that somebody that, we want to be that brand that if there's somebody out there that don't have a mentor, we want to, we want to try to be able to teach, teach somebody something about how to hunt, what you need to do. You know, a lot of people look at this video probably gonna say man I've known how to do that for years but a lot of people don't so we want to teach those people that that don't know how to do it and don't have a mentor showing them how to do it so appreciate y'all watching the video I got a long walk out of here and uh, you know hey appreciate it we'll see y'all next time